Euphoria talks about the euphoric aspect of capitalism. So why is capitalism so unresistible, although we know that it's very damaging, although we know it creates a lot of injustice in the world, why is it so fascinating? Why are we still clinging to it? Euphoria is a multi-screen film installation consisting of a large musical part uh, performed uh, by the Brooklyn Youth Chorus, five acclaimed jazz drummers. Those two groups of musicians play together and then there's a big filmic part which is partly shot in New York and largely shot in Kiev and in Sofia. And in those scenes, contemporary figures of our life which are kind of marginalized in our capitalist society are the protagonists. They all have a lot of dialogue. They talk with each other. They partly deliver monologues. They sing together and they talk about economy. For the filmic action on the main screen, we have um, developed six sceneries, uh, which is a taxi driver driving alone through New York, picking up a passenger who remains silent uh, most of the time, and delivering a long monologue where he describes in a very kind of uh, empathetic way humanity and its weakness. In the second scene, we see five homeless men gathering around a fire in an old barrel they kind of have a kind of idea battle between the two opposing big forces in, in economy, which is government controlled or regulated capitalism and neoliberal free market economy. Then we have a three factory woman in a factory, which looks like a kind of logistics center. They're discussing the connection between colonialism, slavery, and the wealth in which we live today, partly in our world. The, unfairness of distribution of wealth on this planet, uh, feminist aspects of capitalism and so on. Then we have the bank scene, uh, which is depicting a very powerful representative bank building, probably in New York or Boston or somewhere, where at some point everything runs out of control completely. Then we have a scenery in a kind of abandoned bus terminal where six young teenagers hang out and discuss ideas that lead into a world beyond capitalism. So they get all the utopias, all the utopian ideas. And at the end, we have an empty supermarket at night through which we see a tiger who is starting to talk at one point and to sing and reflecting on what we have heard during this whole piece. And Unfortunately, coming up with a quite cynical conclusion, but I'll leave that for later. <laughs>